time for game number two. All right, take it away. All right, well, thank you for the honors, Mr. Pain user. And uh, at the top of Shatter Temple, we've got Empire Koss. He is the Yellow Terran. He's already wishing the GGG LHF and uh, wishing that over to Ganzi, who's got one win so far in this series. Uh, he is going to be playing under Sela's account. This is Slayer's Ganzi. He's a blue Terran over on the right side of Shatter Temple. And, uh, well, man, it's game two. What do you think is going to happen? I don't know. We saw kind of an interesting attempt at a cheese from Ganzi in game one. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll have to see if he does something like that again. You know, Koss could return the favor this game and, and do something similar. You never know. Yeah, yeah. Gonzi's taking an interesting approach, I think, to Terran versus Terran. And this is something that I've been seeing a little bit more on the Korean side of Terrans. They've been using these kind of proxy factories, uh, proxy barracks, of course, to start things off. And they're being, they're being a little bit more aggressive against their Terran counterparts. Yeah, absolutely. It's, it's definitely something we've seen. Players will bust it out in a best of. It's definitely not like the mainstay of TVT, but mm -hmm. players certainly do have builds that, you know, they can proxy, absolutely. And we do have gas first here from Koss. Hmm. So uh, Koss going to be looking to get a very early factory. We have gas first from uh, Gonzi as well. Looks like identical builds from both players, actually. So yeah. uh, pretty quick factory uh, in the works for both these players. You know, Terran versus Terran is one of those matchups that's so dynamic. Um, you know, I feel like it's the most... Uh, Various, uh, for dynamic. lack of a better word, dynamic, yeah. I already used that, though. Dy dynamic mirror matchup in StarCraft II. Zerg versus Zerg, probably in second place. It has a lot of things that can happen, but Protoss versus Protoss, probably in last place, as it's usually a 4-gate versus 4-gate uh, Some battle. variation of Blink Stalker, 4-gate Blink Stalker, 3-gate Blink Stalker. Yeah, exactly. 3-gate Robo. It's all one base, like, pretty much pressure. Pretty much. Every, time, every time somebody drops a Nexus, I feel, in PvP, it's like... It just risky. depends on how long it takes until it gets scouted, but if yeah, it gets scouted right away, it's just like, oh, you lose. Oh, that sucks. But uh, Terran versus Terran, we've seen it as the one mirror matchup that can actually go into like a six base versus six base all out warfare where both players divide their side of the map and it comes down to battle cruisers and Vikings and, and Ravens and it's just insane. Yeah, TVT is actually a really fun matchup. Mm -hmm. It gets pretty intense sometimes for it sure. Definitely and does. you hardly ever see that in ZVZ or PvP. I mean, it happens, but it's very rare. <laughs> Look at these two guys, man. They are on identical timings right now. Same exact build down to the dotting of the I and the crossing of the T. Nothing uh, to differentiate the two players. So, you know, it's just going to come down to the micro and uh, they can still kind of vary their tech paths from here depending on where they want to go. But it almost certainly looks like we're going to have very, very fast uh, Banshees. Yeah. It looks like Kyle's is going for the quickest possible Banshee and I think we're going to see the exact same from Gonzi. Wow. And he's actually scouting with the factory. I really like that. So he's going to be able to get a beat on just exactly what Koss is up to. Mm -hmm. And he will see that Koss is also going for a Banshee. So <laughs> will he build a Viking first or will he build the Banshee anyway? Mm. Well, that's a good question. Uh, he could also just go for a missile turret after an engineering bay as well. Oh, after the scout, he decides, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and land my factory back down he's not really deviating from his uh from his build quite yet but i really want to know like you said before what is he going to build from the starport is it going to be a banshee or is it going to be a viking i don't know only time will tell and it banshee. looks like it is going to be a banshee Both and he players. knows that banshees are on the way now mm -hmm. um so he can prepare for that accordingly well, it looks like Koss also investing in a Hellion, so a little bit of differentiation on the ground here, because of course his factory was landed, whereas Gonzi's was up in the air, and a factory up in the air can't build anything. So uh, there is one Hellion in the uh, on the ground right now, and both of them getting a Banshee apiece. So uh, it pretty much looks like both players are going to send their helicopters across and start killing a bunch of SCVs by the looks of it. The one thing Gonzi does have going for him is he has these additional Marines. Um, I think he's up by one Marine right now, and he's been continuing Marine production to help deal with this Banshee. Mm -hmm. Gonna queue up a Viking right away, probably. I wouldn't be surprised Ooh, for there both is players, actually. The difference costs us two gas, whereas Gonzi only has one. So he hasn't really used that second gas for a cloak upgrade or anything like that. In fact, he's gonna use oh, it. Oh, he just took so much damage from Marines. He's gonna use it for Blue Flame Pain user. Oh, Koss is coming up huge here. He's taking out almost all the Marines. There's only two more Marines left, but he is killing some uh, some SCVs there in the mineral line. Both players killing SCVs now. Oh, but Koss has so many more kills, man. He's about to get 10th kill. He is on the 10th kill, and Gonzi has only killed off five. That's pretty incredible, considering he was the one who got the scout off on the uh, Banshee opening. 
Oh, and wow. 15 kills before that banshee goes down. That is definitely worth it, 100%. But, you know, even though he got 15 kills and his opponent, well, I guess most of those kills, uh, half of those kills at least, were Marines, it looks like both of their SCV counts, you know, not too far apart with Koss leading slightly. But, uh... You know, I think that both players, considering that they both went for a Banshee opening and not much anti-air, they mitigated that pretty well. Yeah, I mean, kind of canceling one another out, both doing some damage to the mineral line. Mm -hmm. um, Gonzi obviously coming out a little bit ahead there. And now he's... Do you think uh, so? Koss is transitioning, yeah. He, I, or I think uh, Koss, Koss, Koss came, came out ahead, ahead, I mean, yeah, not Gonzi. Um, Koss is actually going for a Hellion drop now. Hopefully that oh. doesn't get intercepted. Oh, if it gets intercepted, man, this is going to totally put Gonzi back ahead in this game. Those two Vikings are on the way down south right now, and it looks like the Hellions are making their way in with the medevac, and the Hellions will drop in. They have the blue flame upgrade. Remember that Koss did get two gases rather than one, oh, and God. so he's got the blue flame upgrade, and all those SCVs are ready for the picking, and it looks like they're all lined up for a Hadouken blue flame shot, but the SCVs somehow managing to get out of there. They're all in the reddish field. Oh! Some oh of those SCVs eating it, and a bunch Bunch of SCDs going down, so Gonzi. How many does he have left? Has lost so many workers. Twenty-five this game. SCVs he have gone down. Eight. Oh my god! <laughs> that was beautiful work from Koss. Yeah, you know Koss making use of that second gas, getting the blue flame upgrade, dropping it in there, roasting a good ten or so SCVs, and man, now he's ahead by a very, very large margin. Yeah, I mean if we. Uh if we look at the supplies, 41 to 30 right now, and, you know, Koss just absolutely roasting the mineral line. 29 to 8 harvesters right now, so Koss is in a great spot. He just needs to hold on here, defend properly, and he will win out in this game. Well, There's there no doubt in my mind. Quite a bit of air from Gonzi here, and he could crush the Vikings and let the Banshees go to town. Banshees already have two kills. Looks like he has three Vikings compared to two, and he might be able to crush the forces here, but there are Marines on the ground, so the Marines are dealing with that Banshee, and meanwhile, it looks like uh, Gonzi coming in here with some Hellions of his own. Now, nope, they're not of the Blue Flame or Variety, but how many SCVs can he kill? It looks like he's not going to be able to equalize quite yet. The Vikings are coming back over, and they will crush that Banshee. The Hellions unable to get nearly as many kills as... Uh, as Koss was able to, although that might change right now. He's getting up to 18, he's at 20, and he's getting quite a few kills of his 21. own. He's actually at, both players are at very, very low SCV counts. But now, Koss does have the lead in army. Mm -hmm. uh, he does have a tank out, he has those two Vikings as well. So he could potentially push right here. But all in all, I feel that, uh, you know, <laughs> Koss is still ahead considerably. I mean, he killed a lot more than he lost right there, I feel. Yeah, I think he's ahead in the, de in the department that he has way more army right now. Look at this, four Vikings, a tank, uh, he's already landed his natural as well. Gonzi is, still has his orbital building right now in the main, and his base is so barren. I actually, no, these four Vikings could land and just end the game. They really could. Oh, oh Jerry he's swimming his, swimming his add-ons as well. This could be a little bit risky. Is he going to land them? Uh, he's probably going to wait for his additional forces. He might land all five, actually. Yeah, I, I think that would be a smart decision. I'm not sure why he's hesitating right now. I think he's just waiting for his army. Hmm. Well, Gon uh, Koss is known to be pretty passive. Um, not to say that's a bad way to play. I mean, that's just a little bit more conservative. And if he wants to wait, the, the nice thing here is he can camp the starboard. Yeah, and he doesn't know if there's other units around. Mm -hmm. And he has another Viking coming as well, so... There's really no sense in rushing at 100% right now. There could be units hidden on the left or right side of the main waiting. But now that he has everything together and he's coming through the front door at the same time, I bet he will land those. Oh man, he's got his tanks up inside the main as well. Gonna start to siege up and Gonzi pulling ahead in a very big way in this game. It looks like the first Viking coming out, it gets destroyed almost instantly. Not a good way to come into this world. And now the SCVs have to go to battle as well. But the, the Hellions have Blue Flame and Gonzi, wow, he GG's. So it's uh, tied up.